the accept button, Dave. Um, yeah. I think you got to read this one. Yeah. Oh, I get to read it? Yes, you do. The uh, uh, friendly owls doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, it should go, should show us all and wake up. Oh, yeah. let me stop the recording. Uh, this is the meeting of the uh, subcommittee for the sewer commission concerning the Lemonster IMA negotiations. This meeting will be held in person at the location provided on the notice. Members of the public are welcome to attend in person. The following information is also provided for members of the public that would like to participate in the meeting remotely. To participate remotely, from a computer, please use this link to join the public webinar. Or from telephone, dial the toll-free number 888-475-4499 and enter the webinar ID 909-174-30347. If you're not registered with Zoom, you will be asked for your name and email address. Note, no participant ID is needed. Just press the pound key when asked. Telephone users may dial star nine to request to speak after joining the meeting. Computer and app users may use the raise hand feature to request to speak. I think we're good to go. Yeah, Mr. DPW, did you introduce us at the board? I did not. <laughs> All right, so in attendance today is uh, Bill Bernard, the DPW director, and Dave McDonald from the Sewer Commission, and Mike Melp from the Sewer Commission. Hello, Lundberg. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. We're here today to discuss our intermissible agreement with Lominster. This agreement has been in effect for up to 25 years. We're looking to renew it for another 25 years so that all the waste from Bloomberg can flow to Lemonster. The IMA in Fitchburg has been done a few years ago. So today's topic is going to be uh, discussing what the agreement will be between Lunenburg and uh, Lemonster. Keep in mind that all our waste goes to Lemonster has to be paid for by our users. So we are trying to work the pricing to keep the price under control. With that, I will turn it over to Mr. Bernard as far as the reason why we're here today. So we've received a proposal from Lemonster. So the agenda today is to review that proposal and discuss and make recommendations <clears throat> to um, make that proposal work for us and for Lemonster. Uh, Mr. Bernard, I'd like to go over a couple of the topics that we need to discuss. Obviously, we have to look at the uh, flows uh, and the price per uh, unit going into Lemonster. And connecting with these, there's a lot that Lemister is looking for, as well as us trying to save money. Uh, one of the biggest hitching points on this would be how do we come up with a, a user fee that is fair to not only Lunenburg but to the Lemister residents? We're supposed to be paying the same amount as the Lemister residents are paying. And is that a fact, Mr. Renard? Are we doing that? I know there's an increase from 525 up to 647, which means Lemister residents are also going up. And now when there is gonna be very hard to negotiate just because it is what it is, as they say, that's the amount of uh, liquids going into Lemister. Now on page right. 19 of your proposal, Bill. Yeah. Um, if you look at um, paragraph 12-1, Oops, we're on the right page. And again, this is the proposal that Lemus has sent us that we're looking to go back and redline it for Lemus's attorneys. 
All right, it's, uh, section 12 dash one. Yeah, no, I, I see in red, I can't read that. I think that came from our our um, business manager. They were, I said 19. It's page, page nine. Page nine. Page yeah. Nine. Okay. 12.1. Got it. Okay, we're good. No, I believe all the, the red lining in this document we have is yeah. from Lemonster. Lemonster has made these okay. red lines and, and notes. So under the they agree to ours as far as discharging the 500,000 gallons a day into the Northern Strength watershed. And again, that's uh, Lemister approving that. Yeah, they have a check mark on 500,000 yeah. gallons per day. Yep. And I think the note says at any time during this agreement, Lunenburg may request the ability to. Discuss additional, discuss additional flows. I don't know what this next piece says. The request may or may may not be approved. Flows out there so to sit. Oh, yeah. I think it says Lemonster will review yeah. this request and may or may or may approve or disapprove the additional flows at their sole discretion. And one of the things that we needed was full capacity from Lundberg to go to Lemister. Uh, so th this has um, a good benefit for the town of Lundberg as far as requesting more. If more people come in, more businesses come in, we now have a way to get the flow to Lemister. Fitchburg were pretty tight on their flows, plus the expenses are very high in Fitchburg versus Lemister. Correct. So again, looking back at the negotiation, that was one thing that I don't think I have a problem with. Mike, with you, what's your input? No, I guess my only question is, and I should know this, I guess, but what's, what is our average flow right now? Is it half that? Is it, do you know that? Or is that a Paula question, maybe? That may be a Paula question, but I think, I think that's where the I think it's less, I think it is possible, but yeah, I would check. See if you get a couple mm -hmm. of questions. Well, that has the numbers. I mean, sorry, I don't have them in front of me. No, no, that's, that's right. And again, uh, ladies and gentlemen at home, this is just our first discussion on improving this IMA with the town of Lemonster. Uh, Bill, what, what do you feel about that section, though? I, I don't have a problem with that. I don't know. But section 12.1? Yes. So I think it's fair. Yeah. So 500,000 gallons, that's been there for 25 years yeah. and we'll continue we're around three right now so, so that gives some some movement there for sure which is good yeah okay right and they're open to going above and, and beyond that above and beyond, so, yeah. if possible so one thing we are discussing today is just the red lines that we got back from when 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 our first negotiated yeah, but that's right yeah. so we, we don't have to go through the whole package yet mm -hmm. But this will be made available to um, anybody requesting it from the public or on a sewer system if they want to see it. So, Mike, while you're gone, I asked Bill if he had any problems with paragraph 12.1. And either, how about you? No, no, that was to me, that was totally fine. I, I, like I said, I just wanted to know where we we're at now. What's no. all, so, that's a good 35% increase from where we're at. So, that's, that's pretty good. Now, there are some things out of our control. So if you go to page 10, paragraph 15 point, uh, 16, I mean, 16.1. Every resident who, who hooks up to sewer gets a connection fee. Connection fees are averaging, and uh, we're averaging, I think, 1,200 bucks here in Yeah, The final cost to the yeah. customer. Yeah, and it's, I mean, that's kind of out of control. But well, Lemister, I think that we got to go back and I would redline this one because um, they want to go up to $3,500 connection fee. Uh, and again, if you're building a home in Lemister, uh, excuse me, in Lundberg, you have to take that into consideration. But I think we should put that as one of our talking points back to Lemister. Once once again, my my question would be, is that is that what Lemister's paying for? Residents are paying for a connection fee. Exactly. I'm That's, assuming it would be, but I want to know that. I definitely would ask that. Uh, and again, most of these fees we have we have to pass along. We're just trying to 
protect our interests. Okay, on page 11. I think it's a continuation of 16.1. Though maybe you can explain that idea again. This is Lemister. This is Lemister response. Do where are we looking, Dave? Uh, down where it goes, you got three times 750 times 0. 0.70 equals 10,500. Okay, so that's it's an example of what the connection fee could possibly be, right? So previously it was seven hundred and fifty dollars. So it's three times seven fifty. Uh what's the yeah, so it's, let's see. Yeah. But basically what, what they what, what I can see what they're saying if it were if it were three family, it's yeah. gonna be the thirty five hundred times three. Which is going to be ten thousand five hundred for three family. But what's that uh, factor of seventy percent? Yeah, as well. which multi, it's I, I the think previous. It, I think it used to be. Yeah, they used to give you a seventy a thirty percent discount. Right. They're not going to do it away with that. that. There's three. If there's three families, three mm -hmm. families have to pay that connection fee. Right. They're removing that. I guess the only good thirty percent discount. I guess the only good thing we don't have a lot of two families and three families being mm -hmm. built in our town. So I, I think we should go back and again ask them why are they taking out the seventy percent. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to be under the same assumption that they're doing the same thing as the residents, but if not. And that's what we got to check. I mean, I know rates are going up everywhere. I know Pittsburgh is going up for the next five years, a uh, percentage. Yeah. But if we're being treated fairly, there's really not much we can ask for, except miscellaneous things as we'll get into. But they're not going to give it to us cheaper than their own residents. And, and I wouldn't either if it was me. So if you go to the next paragraph, uh, Bill, accessory living apartments as defined in the Lunenburg's bylaw shall not be considered as a separate dwelling. And again, I think that Lemus is trying to tell us Lunenburg users connecting fees should not be increased unless Lemus fees to its users are increased. Am I getting that right? Yeah. Okay. So basically what that's saying is exactly what we just said. If Lemus goes up to their users, then we will go up. So that makes you think that, that they're charging the identical yeah. fees to their, to their customers. And then if you go down to um, paragraph 16, section two, it looks like they're taking out that whole grid that they got there and add a new feature, which do we have a new feature? See what I'm talking about? Yep. I'm just trying to figure it. I think it's described in section 17 and going Forward, right? Well, just actually seventeen one, where it's seventeen one. It's a basic user fee of six forty nine. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what they're just trying to say through this whole thing. It's six forty nine. Now it's six forty six. Actually, it, it's so bad to be. No, sixteen two is separate from seventeen. It says remove seven and sixteen two. Does that chart? It says they're going to add a new chart. Right. I don't think we've seen that yet. Okay. Because it would be here or attached, right? Yeah, so, but they, they're basically mm -hmm. saying that this chart represents the yeah. dollar seventy-five. The new chart will represent the six forty-six, which is so. This must be old. Well, that is the old, right. the old chart, right? Yeah. yeah. That was on March twenty-fourth, nineteen ninety-one. Which is the new units that they're giving us the six forty-six. Yeah. So we haven't seen that. So. Well, is it the last page in our packet? You know, it might be the last page. It is the last there you page. Go. Yeah. That's the chart. So this 16.2 is for public buildings? Okay, yeah. Well, it, well public buildings, everything. schools, commercial buildings, and industrial properties. And then as residential rates and user rates. Yeah. Which, 
Yeah. Oh, so they've added on to this. And so if you look at it, let's go to the usage rate all together. Yeah. We're paying five hundred um five dollars and thirty-two cents a unit, and they're going up to six dollars and forty-five cents a unit. Right. Multifamilies, they're going to thirty five hundred dollars a unit. Example, three families times three is ten thousand five hundred. Single family family would be thirty five hundred, which we just talked about in paragraph sixteen. The rate itself, minimum charge, they're going to charge us thirty five hundred dollars. Am I reading that right up above? Yes. Commercial and schools, right? So what I need you guys to do, and maybe Mike, you can make a suggestion, but I would have Paula sit down with Bill and go over this part, the top part especially, about the user rates from the schools, commercial, and residential industry. To me, that looks high. When they're coming yeah. up here, they put a, um, a wording that says what's different. We have yeah. the top the old chat. So it's hard to follow. Because if you go with the end numbers, it's somewhat proportionate until it gets up to 10 to 50,000. Then it went way out of whack. It's like almost double. In the flat, it's like yeah. a flat fee also. The flat fee here is 31.4, where on this one it's 55. Yeah. So I would redline this back, probably, right? Yeah. But actually, these these are, this is all connection charges. This has nothing to do with the 646. So is it just the connection charges? So if, they, if we slip so another, if we were to build a new municipal building or whatever, that's going to be the connection fees to one of the Yeah. But what about the user, right? No, that's not in here. Well, down the bottom, down the bottom. But that's the user rates. What they were, what they were doing. That's what going back to the first page there, where they were going up to six forty six. So now there's the new rate. So, so that's fine. It's just the their commercial schools, all their connection fees are going up also. It's got to do with the volume of water they're going to be using. So correct. Yeah. So in some circumstances they're doubling, but so isn't the other ones actually tripling so and that's there's nothing we can say that's, that's well, I, once yeah. again under the assumption that one is the same if you read the rest of the bottom line of 17 17 point one says therefore Lunenberg users fee shall not increase unless Lemister rate on a single family users yeah is increased which is fair there mm -hmm. I mean so the, the only the only way they could go up on us they have to go up on themselves so 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 the monetary increases to Lunenburg users shall not exceed the monetary increases to Lemister rate to a single family residence. And again, that was one of the things that we want to make sure. Well, the biggest the biggest thing with all of this is making sure that Lemus customers are paying in the rents. And if, if they are, it's kind of hard to fight. Like <laughs> I would like to put a section in the rest of it. I mean, I, I think we're going to have to have another meeting and go through each of these. Uh, well, once we, get the, once we get the answer back from them, see exactly. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm looking at old, um, like section 27, 25, 26, are those old from the original IMA? Yeah. I think yeah, that's so what this, this document is. is the original and just redlined. The red lines the where they want to change it, right? Yeah. So the rest is the same. So what I like to put in is to have Lemister, since we're paying this kind of fee, to look at some of our problems in Lunenburg. I think Paula has it here, emergencies. Yeah, Paula has it here. Uh, remedies and 90-day termination notice is not reasonable, considering that, that's suggestion from Paula and uh, Bill. Immediate stopping of service is not reasonable. That's, I'm sure that was a typo on page six. Because they can't do that. What I like to see is adding in manpower and equipment from Lemonson to help out Lunenburg with major problems as far as blockage, um, backups, any of their lines going to 
Lemister, we'd like to have uh, Lemister assist us in fixing those. It's not a bad request considering we're going to be paying and, and we're paying for the same exact service that, that their customers are paying for, only we're taking the burden of the overhead of the repairs and everything. So it's and that's my it's angle. Not, yeah. yeah. It's not a bad request. I mean, if we could save money on service, jetting out lines or, or camera in the lines, they have the equipment. Or at least the, you know, if they gave yeah. us a percentage, gave us, we'll give it to you um, hundred hours a year, whatever. Yeah. Right. Or even at a minimum, respond to emergencies. Right. right? Yeah. At a minimum. That would, it would that be would nice be a to big get savings, minimum. especially with an increase like this. Right. right. Uh, the only ask. Right. Right. I think we learned a lot during the flooding. And uh, have we heard any back about the flooding as uh, the emergency uh, FEMA paying, paying back anything no. for it? No, it's going to be a long time. Okay. But it's been requested, though. Yeah. The request was because of the extra flows going to Lemonster. Lemonster went from, it went up to what, 10 million gallons there in that storm or something ridiculous. But it's all yeah. we all know is it was, it oh, was we, we all, yeah, we we had the same we had the same we thing. Had the same thing. Right. So I know Bill and Paul are requesting money back from FEMA. As a, it makes sense. Thing. It makes sense. Yeah. But obviously that was, you know just the circumstance. That's it. So. so in summary, from what we have so far is on page or section twelve dash one is Lunarberg. May request the ability to discharge additional flows at a sole discretion to allow stuff. Section 16.1 connection fees increased to $3,500 since the fifty. The user fee shall not be increased unless Lemonster fees are also increased. The new the new fee chart has been created, which is the last page of this proposal of this uh, document. User fees increase from Five dollars and thirty-two cents to six dollars and twenty uh, forty-six cents. Mm -hmm. the, deleted infiltration and flow correct correction and fiscal year changes to calendar year, which I don't think I got a problem with. Did Paul would have a problem with it? No, I don't Paul. Have any so that's on page uh, fourteen. Personally, I don't know why it make a difference, but it's because of debt services and stuff. Yeah, why did they change it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it goes along with their uh, municipality calendars or the fiscal calendars, I would think. I think they closed out in July. Yeah, I think they made those changes. It's probably easier for the accounting the mm -hmm. way they've right. made the changes. <laughs> I like this. It's good. <laughs> you start working. Oh, it's working. All right. So, I mean, those are the things that I would send back to. Well, Mr. Um, what do you got, Mike? Pretty much echo what you said. It, it just, but like I said, the, the one thing that makes all this acceptable is is knowing that lungs is paying the same. And then if not, then then it's open to discussion. You see, but if they're paying the same, we don't have much of an argument other than asking for, like we said, help in emergency situations or jetting or anything else. Well, I know we're trying to do our best also to reduce the INA in Lunenburg. Uh, the Board of Selectmen gave us $100,000 for sewer covers. And we're looking for two hundred. dollars By these new sewer covers, we should be able to cut back some of the INA. And hopefully the board, the um, select board, will give us more if they have it at the town meeting. I said it would have been very nice if we got everything we asked for. But yeah, yeah. That but doesn't we, happen that often, does it? But I got to thank Paul and Bill for... Working on this, this is going to be around. The document's going to be around a lot longer than we are. So you know, we like to get it right. 
speak for yourself. <laughs> Mike will be here in 25 years on our honor student commission. <laughs> it feels like I've been here 25 years. <laughs> Maybe a clerk, but he'll still be there. Um, okay, that's all I got. No. Go, what do you got? Um, just looking at Paula's suggestions. Uh, her last one was on section 24, extension of term. She said determine length of term desired. So the previous comment, the previous IMI was IMA was 25 years. So we want to do 25 years again. That was my assumption, but maybe I'm maybe I read it wrong. Page twenty. That's on page twenty. That's right. Well, the parties are in the twenty thirty years of this agreement, unless it is sooner terminated, show negotiating good faith. I don't know why she would want to change that. Indeed. Yeah. Her well, note is determine length of term desired. Which I don't think goes with that section twenty four. It must be somewhere else. I mean, it's section twenty four is a section one. Gives the I remember I, I saw it somewhere in here. They're saying that yeah. it's twenty five years. So. I'm looking at extension twenty four twenty four dash one. Oh, here we are. Yeah, right, right. So they're saying extend it for another twenty five years. Which for me, that's the, that's mm -hmm. as good as it gets, really. Now, 25 years, if you look at the history from Lunenburg and Lemonster, what has changed over the last 25 years, you know, besides technology and um, cost of things. So, I mean, I, I, would, I mean, I think I think Paul might be thinking maybe a 10 year term. Um, maybe, because Lunenburg seems to be growing, right? Yeah. And given that we only have that 500,000 gallons per day, which is negotiable, but what if we grow beyond that real quick? I think that's a question that we should ask on this though too. What are their feelings on it? Like I think um, as a municipality, I think they just want to keep it for 25 years. That's why they gave us the option to add to the 500,000. And we can increase that 500,000 now to 750 if you want. Maybe we should think about doing that as well. We could go for an increase. At least, at least it's there if, if it happens. But out of that 500, we got 300 going to Lemison now, Taylor. So, you know, we do have a lot, but not, not a lot, a lot. I mean, but how much development, uh, and who knows with that, right? Schedule 40 thing coming, the project 40 there. <clears throat> All of that flow is going to go to Lemison. So, we may want to talk about our flows to Lemison, maybe try to increase them now. Right. How do we know 25 years from now when we flush it later, it's not going to come out clean water? We don't. They got some form of filtration system within them. Well, I mean, like a septic system. <laughs> if you take a look at Lemister and the potential growth, I mean, we, we do have a lot of potential growth over there. And I know there's another project going on up at the Keating property. They want to put another warehouse or something up there. I mean, who knows right. what's going to happen with the farmland up in that area? That all goes to so They're looking at building another housing project off of Lancaster Ave. Um, yeah. Maybe we should look at because two hundred thousand gallons goes away pretty fast. They better hurry up. The yeah. connection fees are going up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so much for inflation, huh? So why don't we do that? If you go, Paula. Let's let's talk about. Increase on in the uh, capacity the mm -hmm. lemon It's not a bad idea. Then we then we know we're protected. So, yeah. And as far as the determination, if we can get what we want, I would keep it at 25 years. And then can go from there. Because as a state, you can always open up negotiations for any reason. You just do that too. Mm -hmm. On page 12-1. Uh, Am I not mistaken that? So you can put in additional flows. There's another category that we could go back and talk more about. Well, that was a section that basically said the only way they would increase if they actually increase their yeah. 
their customers all the same thing, yeah. which is a hard argument to make against. I mean, 17, the user fees kind of tells you that if there's anything, you can always go back and talk about it. 17, too. The one is the stuff that says on seven twenty five. Yes, but okay. soon after you. But we can send this back with our comments on it. I just don't. It's going to be very hard to get them to go down on their um, increase if one is going up with their customers on that. So we got to think of other ways to save money for our customers, and that would be okay. section nine. I mean, the bottom line is that there's going to be an increase no matter what. There's going to be an increase. It has to be. Mm -hmm. been... well, I know we're trying to protect our customers by keeping so, the fees yeah. where they are. Well, we've, and we've done a pretty good job of it up until now, and we'll continue to do the best we can. But bottom line is we've got to you know, pay the bills. <laughs> But before these connection fees go up, I suggest that if anybody in Lemus or, or in Lunenburg want to hook into the sewer, stop thinking about doing it now. They can save a lot of money, almost because of the septic system. I mean, the septic system is high, uh, high right now. So if you're on the edge about going to septic, going to sewer, now's the time to really consider that and save some money. That's all I got, to Mr. Um, or no. Mr. Chair, I was going to say Mr. Chair. You're the Mr. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm good too. Like I said, just verifying that that's that's the way they the pounds coming. So all right. There you go. We'll adjourn the meeting. Yeah. Do I have a motion? Yeah, there? yeah, motion. Uh, I put a motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Meeting is adjourned. Goodbye, Warren Bye, Warren Happy Halloween. Look at trees.